All right, welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. So we're gonna take a look at this little gem of a device that I found on Amazon. It's an interestingly uh, designed chainsaw sharpener. And uh, I'm always looking for new ways to sharpen a chain. So we're gonna test this out and see what, uh, how well it works. Will, will we throw it in the fire or will we keep this around as a much used tool? We'll, we'll find out here in a few minutes. We're gonna be using the Husqvarna Rancher 455. Uh, it's a solid little saw that uh, I've had for quite a few years now. Um, I also have a steel that has a different bar on it. And unfortunately, this sharpener will only work with a bar that has the pre-drilled hole in it, or you could drill a hole in the bar, I guess. But this one has the pre-drilled hole, so we're gonna use this saw. The chain that's on here is fairly new, but I have beat it up over the past couple weeks and I have not sharpened it one single time yet. Uh, I've been uh, running it through some pallets, uh, pallet wood. I've hit a couple nails with it. Uh, I've run it through some, uh, some other wood in the, in the forest and hit the dirt quite a few times and stuff. And so it's starting to get a little dull. So the plan here is to do a, an equal test of uh, before and after. So we're gonna run it now and then we're gonna sharpen it with the new sharpener and then run it after and see if we get any results, any difference uh, or how well it works. It's a nice cold day here in Michigan. It was three degrees last night, so we'll see see how well our, our saws are running in the cold. But we've got a nice piece of cherry here. Um, it's about, I would say about 14 inches in diameter, 14 to 16 inches, somewhere around there in diameter. We're gonna run a couple slices off it. So I'm gonna slice it first here. We're gonna take a look at the, the shavings that come off the chain, and we're gonna kinda try to measure the time. I'm gonna try to feather the cut kinda softly through here, and we'll see how long it takes for each cut. We'll run the sharpener on it and then we'll do another cut right next to it so we get as close to the same diameter and grain as we can between both cuts to see how well this uh, sharpener works so it's a pretty basic device uh, this is a lock here that locks it closed when you open it up it has a sharpening stone that's shaped at the tip of the bar so it's got kind of a half moon shape to it comes with an extra grinding stone and it looks like it's got adjustable rivets so you can move this rivet uh, over into several locations, I think, just depending on how your bar is set up, where the holes are. And so we're gonna see, I think this will fit on, on the bar that we have. And it looks like the idea is pretty simple. You stick it in there, put the chain in position, you know, right up against the grinding stone here, close this, lock it shut, and then you run the chain while you press this against the ground. As we press that against the ground, it pushes the grinding stone against the end of the bar there, which uh, which is supposed to sharpen the chain. So we'll see we'll see how well this works. Um, obviously, this is only going to be sharpening the teeth. It's not going to hit the the rakers or the depth guides, whatever you want to call it. And so we'll have to still file those by hand. But if this can put a nice edge on the teeth, um, I'll consider that a win. So let's see how well it works. All right, so we made our first cut here and it looks like there's a little bit of rot in this cherry. So I'm gonna make one more slice on this uh, just to see if we can get into a, a more even part of the, of the log. So I want it to be as, as equal as possible for both cuts. So we'll do one more slice here and then we'll run the sharpener on it and see if it's any better. So the shavings that we're getting here, they're, uh, they're not too bad. Um, they got some, some at least uh, chunky pieces in there. Now this is a decently hard wood, this cherry, but it's not too bad. So uh, this shows me that it's uh, not too sharp anymore, but it's also not completely dull. Got some, some better shavings here. So this is kind of the furthest back spray and this looks a little bit, a little bit better. So the chain's not extremely dull, but we'll see if we can make it even sharper.
you can see how it uh, didn't really ride in there evenly so it chewed up the the stone kind of on the bottom instead of in the middle I don't know if that's all right or not we'll see if it makes a difference and you can see on some of the teeth it looks like it scraped pretty evenly and then on some of them it looks like it scraped on the inside so it looks like it may have hit the depth gauges too or the rakers so we'll see i don't know that looks that looks pretty rough <laughs> we'll stop looking at it and see how well it works We got a pretty good cut through similar piece of wood as the other two so th the test seems pretty pretty equal so let's look at the shavings here I turned the log so this all this spray here is for my new cut and then the stuff over here is from my old cut so I can compare the size of the shaving so grab a handful of these so this is the stuff with the with the duller chain right here and this is after it was sharpened and i'll be darned if that <laughs> if that isn't some better better cutting see the shavings there longer shavings longer pieces you can see there's a good one right there um, generally that represents a sharper tooth and uh, i'm actually uh hmm. i'm not sure if i'm a hundred percent sold but it's definitely sharper the shavings here are definitely better so uh that's uh i would consider that a success seriously you better get back in formation so the second cut uh we'll look at the times on the camera there i don't think it was any faster um i did let up on the saw one time that may have we may have lost a couple seconds it felt pretty good it didn't feel too much different than the first time we went through but it definitely felt like it was cutting a lot easier. Not a very objective uh, test, you know, how it felt, but it did feel like it was cutting a little bit better. But the shavings are a sure example, a sure uh, result that the chain was sharper. Even though it didn't really look like it sharpened it very easily or very evenly, it seemed to be better. So the only thing I don't really like about it is that uh, I'm not sure if I like how it mounts to the bar because my bar only has one hole. It does have the option to have those two pins if you have two holes, but the way this is, it really is is weak. I mean, this thing, you know, I can hit the plastic if on each side if I don't don't support it. And even when you close it and lock this shut, it's a little better, but it's still really floppy this way. So having the two two pins in it would be a lot better well I'm actually a bit surprised that it it worked at all uh, but it did sharpen the chain and it did seem to be a little bit sharper although the time the time of the cut was uh, pretty much identical uh, within a second of each other you know from the old cut to the new cut so it didn't make a huge difference but the shavings did prove that the chain seemed to be a little bit sharper so will I throw this away or keep it around that's the real question uh, it's kind of a kind of a cheesy little tool I don't think it really it really addresses the the proper technique of sharpening a chain uh, it does you know file the top side of the teeth which can lead to a sharper edge but I think that if we use this uh, continually or over time uh, we're gonna find that it just wrecks the chain it won't get into the gully of the teeth and it doesn't really address the rakers or the depth gauges at all uh, properly. So although this might work in a pinch, uh, maybe just to put a quick edge on the top if you're just in a hurry or something like that, I think that uh, overall this thing is kind of, <laughs> kind of a I don't want to call it a hoax because it it is, it is an interesting design. But uh, 
I don't think something that I'll use regularly. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think of the strangest chainsaw sharpener that I've found at least? Uh, of course, if you wanna check this out, it's not a very expensive product. It's over on Amazon and there'll be a link in the description if you wanna look at it. The reviews seemed pretty good, so I'm not sure if other people are having uh, different luck than me, but uh, uh, check it out and, and see. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to follow along with the SSL Family Dad channel. Lots of fun stuff going on over here. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.